Lily. Where's Papa? Cleaning up tidy. Very special guest coming today. This is somebody who made a big difference in my business so long ago, like before vlogs, like blogging. In the early days when I was launching my business, and I encourage anybody to do this. Oh, you gotta be good at what you're trying to teach, like homesteading. We had the experience, we read all the books, we were teaching that. But you also gotta be good at business, but particularly marketing. So what I would do is while I was doing dishes, I would listen to podcasts while I was driving. Uh, audiobooks. At night, I had like real books. What happens is you find one guy, I don't know, one of the early guys was Tim Ferriss. Another early guy was Pat Flynn. Uh, then the, you get intro to other concepts and people. And before you know it, you're following Brian Harris. You're following the guy who's coming today, Nathan Barry. And oh, there's Tim Schmoyer. You implement their ideas. You don't be afraid to talk about it. You keep growing your platforms, and before you know it, those guys are following you, which has happened here uh, with both Tim and Nathan. We're gonna see Nathan today. Unboxing. You guys know what this is? I think this is a blank book. We're vetting printers for our building design book. Is this like, oh yeah, this is totally blank. Should our design book be that big? Slays open nice. Can you imagine that full of my homestead? Design plans. This is really nice. Look how it lays open like that. That's what I would want. So you could put this on your workshop desk and you'd go step one, step two, step three. What's up with that? It's still dark. 10 till seven. And it's hard because if we just start start time, then time change, it's gonna be light. When is the time change? I'm not sure. Oh, and I think we got hurricane clouds. Usually okay. do pretty light right now. Well, by the time we get all the feed and all that stuff together. November 6th. Okay, yeah, so I guess we do need to judge just our start time. Probably move it to 7.30. I think this is be okay because yesterday I thought like today I'll need to get a pay. That'll do it. Has I that been down the whole time? I put it up yesterday and the fence wasn't working and I told you how to fix it. You fixed the fence and apparently I thought you did. Still some food in there. Not much. Look how they've eaten the ground down so much there. That means it's time for a move. Uh, but we're not going to have time right now so let's, let's get them their hay. Let's open this up. Where can we open it up? Kids heard of the tame ones in there. What about the wild ones? Tandy to have them half tame. Not too tame where they clobber you. They're not wild. They're tame enough where they'll come back when you call them. Or just bring some hay. Sheep, 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 sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. They're not too excited. We might have to get the alfalfa. Now let's go get the wild ones. Hey, my man. How's it going? Hey, <laughs> good. Thanks for <laughs> good having to me. Good to see you guys. Yeah. All the way from Boise. Boise, Boise Idaho. Idaho. Okay, good. Yeah. Welcome. Have Let's catch open. these chickens. Have the door open. Come on. You just gotta give him some pressure, Justin. Okay. <laughs> you got chickens, Nathan? Uh, normally. A fox just got ours. Oh, no. Normally. Yeah. Hopefully that's not too long and hits something and knocks it off. Hey Josiah, can you get your grinder and we cut this bolt? Oh, we don't have a... 
We don't have a blade, do we? That is like two inches from the bottom. That could be a problem, but we'll see what happens. She doesn't think it's gonna work. It's not gonna work. Yeah. Yeah. Just save. It's like, I, it's I'm full of hope. Oh you wow, it's, it's hitting now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you guys all got in. <laughs> Let's see if this one's long enough. Hey, hey, hey. How many people can we fit in a salad? <laughs> we still got the back. Now we're back on track. That's good. You guys got sheep yet on your four to five acres? Is that what it was? What? Goats. Goats, okay. Sheep are the new goats, guys. I know, you can even milk them. You can milk them. Mm -hmm. They taste great. Our goats taste good too, actually. Oh, you ate them? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Yes, good for you guys, good. So many people won't eat their goats. They taste really good. They're okay, right. good. We had never tried it before and we just yeah. butchered them and I said, we'll just try it. Yeah. Ooh, I love it, I love it. Good for you guys. Yeah, they got plenty of minerals? Yeah, there's tons hmm. of minerals in That's there. That's strange. I don't think you think they'd be eating them like crazy since they're new. So how long y'all been homesteading? <laughs> um, we moved to our place five years ago. Okay. So, and we got chickens before that in the garden. Nice. So and are already harvesting your own goats on farm. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And pigs too. Sheep. Nice. More chickens to round up, guys. Guess what we're gonna do? Harvest Ooh, sweet potatoes. Potato. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And it's a good crop this year too. No. Calves have not gotten to that. That's good. Rebecca, you getting the uh, minerals in? I am. Okay. Good deal. I found you probably through Brian Harris. Yeah. It was video fruit guy at the time. Yep. T teaching me how to build an email list, okay? Probably, or Pat Flynn. Could have been Pat as well. There's two things I, I still remember from you that definitely implemented and made our business what it is today. And here's the one I think everybody will really relate to out there. This was when I was blogging. Before I was vlogging, I found you. Yeah. And you said, to write 1,000 words a day. <laughs> yeah. How many words this. did you write today? Uh, I've, no. written any. I've written no. any. I haven't written any either, but uh, uh, I did, and you were, because uh, you were you were talking about. I think that was a model on creating your own ebook or something, or yep. eventually book, and how to do a business around that, and it worked. Yeah. But the point was, you had to write a thousand words a day, no matter what, yeah. seven days a week. I did, I got 600 days in a row. Did you? Of a thousand words a day. <laughs> and you made a good point, like 60 days, that's a novel. Yeah, yeah 60,000 words. Yeah. Like, you edit that down a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So you did 600 days? Yeah, so I, So where are all those words? No, I don't know. <laughs> They're in, in What there. did you think when he was writing 600 words a day? No, he was right. Do you have to do it no, every no. single Six, day? Did you? Well, I don't know. Ask the guy. <laughs> I, yeah, I did it every day. <laughs> he did every it every day for 600 day. days. There were some days that I knew I wouldn't like, and we're going to go backpacking or something like that. Yeah. You know, I'm not, not bringing the laptop. And I would write it ahead. So I'd write an extra like 200 <laughs> words a day <laughs> for five. Was this five before you? No, this What's was during. <laughs> okay. Did he ever have to say, oh, did he ever get in the bed and be like, oh, wait, I haven't written my thousand words and get up out of the bed? Maybe. I had I, I had a reminder. I had, you had reminders on my phone. Time of day okay. that you so you were pretty good it. about that. Then. Yeah, yeah, and okay. I had. Well, I actually made an app. That, oh, that's right. Uh, that would pop up and say, "Did you write a okay. thousand words today?" And it would track my streak. Yeah. But yeah, that turned into three books, a ton of blog posts, tons of guest posts on other people's. Yeah. I mean, it built the yeah. whole business. Yeah, it built. It did. And and. I did that with words, but then I started doing it with the video. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be words. Yeah. If you're a writer, it's yes. Great consistently. If you want to be a podcaster, maybe it needs to be you need to do a podcast every day, even if you're just it's just you. Yeah. Okay? And and and, and maybe this too. I got to where homestead writing, where I'm teaching something that involves research. It's it's a little much to do a thousand words a day because you have to do research to yeah. put those thousands of words a day. It's not just putting down thoughts, mm -hmm. but but then it's three hundred words or it's ten minutes a day yeah. or whatever. I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna do my craft yeah. for X yeah. amount of time. That's right. It could be create 
like write every day, publish once a week. That could work too. Yeah. Right? Like some of the things That's right. you know, require a lot more. But you have to create every day. Yeah. That's it. That's right. Create right. You named it right there. there so this is why I think everybody will appreciate this because I'm milking the cows every day. Mm -hmm. In homesteading, people get overwhelmed. I have all these goals, I have all these things I want to do, and I just can't. A thousand words a day, so to speak. <laughs> Just get out there. If it's an hour, a, if it's an hour a day making progress, if it's just doing 15 minutes extra after chores or whatever, mm -hmm. just get after it every day. No excuses. When you were sick, you were probably sick during the 600 days. So, yeah. Plenty of Sundays in there. <laughs> plenty of Christmases. Speaking of a thousand day rule, it's kind of like the the one percent rule. Just do that little idiotic bit of change every day. You know about yeah. that, Nathan? Yeah. The one percent rule. James Clear, one percent better. Every day. Okay. Yep. Hillary, just jumping right in. Yep. <laughs> this is a good sight right there. Yeah. Look at him on the rock. <laughs> Hillary's going for it. Got married. Did you think Hillary'd be chasing pigs? Yeah, I think I. In I the mountains of North that. Carolina, you did. You down. did. You knew. Well, you, <laughs> it's you not a surprise to you. I really grew up with animals, so. They're gonna be too fast at this age. See that, Rebecca? We're not gonna be able to catch them for castrating. Yeah, can you imagine catching these guys? We caught one. You can catch them, eventually. One gallon, two gallons, three gallons, and almost a half. Y'all ready? Nathan, you ever parted chicken? Nope. First time. Hillary, you've parted a chicken though. Yeah. No, you're here. You're good. You're gonna be right there, Hillary. Okay. <laughs> so Nathan's gonna get the big cutting board since okay. he's the least experienced. So how did you go from a software app developer? Well, now you now you have your own company that manages emails. Yep. For people. But how'd you get into homesteading? Oh, that's Hillary. Software to homestead. That's Hillary all the way. Y'all met when you were 16. Huh? Yep. Yep. What's the secret to changing and not drifting apart? You didn't sign up for a homesteading, honey. I think just being willing to do what the other person wants. And really? really? Yeah. So what? Well, we find a lot so of. So you want home. a homestead, and he'll do that. <laughs> what do you want that he does? What do I, I mean, what, what does he, he want that, that you do? do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we travel. Yeah, traveling is probably ah. the biggest thing. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? She, she uh, puts up with all my entrepreneurship stuff. Yeah. And encourages it a lot. Cooking potato pills for the pigs. Rebecca. Yes, sir. Cajun chicken coming right up. Yeah. I think, what do you want to shoot for 12? Still got a 12 o'clock start? Yeah, we for can eating. do 12. Sun is out. I think normal people might just sit down and relax. Right, Nathan? But we're not normal we're people. We're not normal people. We've got 30 minutes. What can we do with it? <laughs> <laughs> I think we can harvest a row of sweet potatoes. Our hole is dug out for our root cellar. Root cellar is on the way. Nathan, we had our sheep in here to get rid of the greens. Nice. And now we can see the sweet potatoes. Yes. I'm excited because it's going to be easy to harvest. Look, you can see them here. I'll go in and dig, and you guys grab the sweet potatoes, put them in a wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow them into there to that cart. How about that, guys? Back up a little bit. Look at this one. This is going to be a football. The carrot. Holy moly. Goodness. Too bad the fair isn't right now. One huge wheelbarrow load. Do we got any sweet potatoes of note? This one's pretty big. Yeah. You didn't know. Uh, one wheelbarrow load on two and a half rows. They're 50 feet long, 30 inches wide. The deep bedding is ready. The pole barn is ready, guys. 
We even got our front gates back on. We're ready. We're getting ready for this oncoming winter. We can get my back and <laughs> be a whole thing. Perfect. Sweet potatoes have to cure and hot. They like it hot for a couple of weeks. And they taste much better that way. You don't want to eat them fresh. They store a lot better too. I did not know that. Yeah. Look who won. Potato you can eat fresh. Oh look at tiny Back in the house. Broth going. She's on mashed potatoes duty. Hillary, you just jump in, no matter what. <laughs> Well, I love everything you do here, so. From you know, milking cooking, to sweet potatoes. Milking, gardening. Yeah, we just laughed out there. You guys are on vacation. And you got up at five o'clock this morning to go do somebody else's chores. What's wrong with you? A lot, but we have a good time. <laughs> okay, good. A little. We came to eat, and I forgot to turn on the oven. So we put it in the small oven, and we're putting it on high heat. So I made you guys some pork rinds. All right. Look at that. And you've never had one. Try this one. Porky, she says. Porky, so I don't know if that's good or bad. Look at that. Couldn't you just use that as a chip? What's this? Let's see if it works. It's a little weird. Yeah, that's um. These are good. Good. Need homemade or home homegrown. I got it really hot on accident. I think that's the key, Rebecca. Like 420, and I stirred it while it was cooking, and they all puffed up really nicely. Sure. Take one to your friends. Look. Turned out nice. It did. Here you go. You guys excited? Oh yes. Food for the land, Cajun style. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Is it gift time? Oh, this fit? I like it. I do. Every day. Where do folks get that shirt? Or did uh, you just? I, I don't know that shirt? you can get it. Okay. If you're a convert your customer, okay. you can probably. Okay. Then you gotta get a convert kit. You gotta hold, hold all your email addresses at convert kit. Step one: have us over okay. for, br uh, That's for right. brunch. That's how you have to. <laughs> and then you can get this shirt. Okay, it's a good call to action. You'll get all these calls now. Okay. People will be like, uh, Nathan, you, you want to go to lunch? I'm like, and then I do, and they're like, Where, where's my shirt? I know, yeah. I know, right? Well, you're going to have to go to Idaho. That's right. Okay, I like that. I yeah, like we have that. two. We have That's what we've been talking about today. Just create every day, no matter what. It's on the shirt? Yep. That's good. Uh, and then there's uh, one that says, The future belongs to creators. Oh, nice. I believe that, man. Yep. This is a creator economy. You can homestead. Abundance Plus. Stay crazy. <laughs> Do you? Just saw our guests off. That was refreshing. That was refreshing. Hang out with some business minded folks, um, homesteading minded folks. Good combo. Good fellowship. I asked Rebecca. What do you like? Do you like this big book? I'm kind of torn. Or do you like this size book? And she's like, well, I like that one. Of course, it's easier to print. It's, or, well, it's easier to print. It's easier to also have a digital version. You don't have to do a lot of modifying. Like if we went from this to a printable digital version, it'd basically be two different versions of the book. Nightmare for the book editor. And then she said, I want this one because people could go put it in their copier. And it's a standard copier size. And I know you guys, I know you guys, some of you be very frugal and that's a good thing. And you're not gonna, or you're not gonna wanna go to the, I'm gonna include the digital version with the physical, I'm sure, if you get it through us. And then, but what if you get it on Amazon or something, you're gonna, or you don't wanna log in or go to your email and go to the digital you could go to the printer. Good call, Becky. She's looking out for you guys. She's looking out for you guys. Look who's back. Gma. Hi. She oh, got some goodies dude. for you, it looks like. 2X, Hi. your birthday mail. How's that? Yeah. And how is it that you're getting presents two days in a row? Which one? I'll open the little one. Ah. Monster cups and cards. All right, Hot Wheels. Will those go with your track? 
Oh yeah. No. There you go. You got your two presents. Oh, now that will go to your track. Oh, Gideon. Hot Wheels. It's been a big day. Tomorrow gonna be a bigger day. The day after that, even bigger. We're gonna be moving pigs, castrating piglets. We might be doing, maybe if we have, to, hopefully, maybe we'll be putting the chickens in the greenhouse. Uh, oh, gotta move the sheep up on the hill. It's gonna be exciting next couple of days. Thank you for joining us. Please stay around and go with us on these things. Nathan Berry, that's throwback to helping me get started in this business back when I was blogging. Blogging, like writing. And that was six years ago. And I probably haven't blogged in a year. But it's back. Abundant Permaculture is back. In secret, we've been working on this and we've partnered with somebody to help us in this, to help make it happen. And the Abundant Permaculture blog is back. You guys should check it out. We got several new posts, how to milk a cow, how to tell if your cow has mastitis, what to do about it, all kinds of new and exciting things in there. Uh, I, go look at it, totally free, totally free. AbundantPermaculture.com. That's my blog. Check it out. Enjoy.